Chris, I got to ask. I mean, uh, a, a, an incredible knockout like that. Obviously, you put on a show tonight, man. I mean, how great is this feeling to, to do that, especially Madison Square Garden? Dude, that's That right there, Madison Square Garden, I knew I had to come with something. I had to come with something, man. Then UFC, MSG, CJB. Let's go. You know, now, um, but – it's that aura, like when you walk into here, that feeling you get, you know what I mean? Not to take a jab at, at, at uh, the Knicks or anything, but I felt like Jordan, you know, when I came in here and I knew I had to do my thing in, in MSG as I thought I was going to be the enemy coming in, but I got a lot of pop from here, you know. They must have known that this was the first country I actually touched when I came from overseas. So uh, big up to New York, the love right there. But, um, but yeah, I had to do it big in MSG, you know. Talk to me, like, you've always been an entertaining fighter, right? You come in in your UFC debut, it's not really, you know, you didn't get to show anything, right? So, what, I mean, what was the feeling like walking out after that? Because I think there were a lot of people like, hey, you know, is he just that is regional he, level showman or whatever? <laughs> what, what was your feeling after that fight? Um, to me, I think I ended up beating myself up a little more with the uh, – with who it was, that's Ben Rothwell, man. Like uh, he's he's beat, you know, the Alistair Overeems, the uh, the the, <laughs> the Josh Barnetts, uh, um, and then on eight days notice, you know, and this guy technically had what he had like four fights canceled, so he'd been in a, in an infinite camp, you know, so he was ready for whatever that came his way. But not to make excuses on it, um, I signed, I signed it, so I should have been ready, I should have been prepared. I didn't go in fully myself this time. I got a camp different result, you know? Yeah. What was the feel there tonight? Like you said, you probably thought you were going to be the enemy. You're kind of a weird feeling. Maybe maybe <laughs> fighting a guy that you know is retiring. I mean, what, did that change things? That, what, what, what was the feel? The fact that he did that uh, two days, whatever, before, <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I can't, you know what? Oh, you knucklehead. Um, he, uh, it, it surprised me. Like, you, I don't want to say it, you kind of saw, but you go back, he's technically had, 23, 22 fights under the, like, strike force, you know, Zufa uh, name, you know. So he's been in this game, you know. Um, I did my, my research on him and whatnot and looked him up and just saw overall, great guy, you know what I mean? And then our connection technically is Stipe, you know. And uh, it's funny to, to hit Stipe up and some of his people. They're like, you're fighting who? Oh, God, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we'll have to turn it off right then and there, you know. So um, it, it, was, it was weird to come in. Knowing who he was and seeing like he, he's a football coach of a of a New York team, just had a just had a brand new beautiful baby. He's got a got a son that was like 22 months. You know what I mean? Uh, great guy, man. Again, overall, so to me, the UFC is a brotherhood, sisterhood. We're all rivals, but at the end of the day, if you can't reach out and be like, hey, we're human. You know what I mean? Then then what's what's the point of the sport? You know. The kick, of course, the highlight. Uh, <laughs> something that you just threw in the moment, or was it something you'd been setting up that you knew was going to be there? It's weird. Uh, I just actually was talking to to the my head coach uh, Scott Scott Barrett. Um, we we worked on a lot of movement, different things, this and that. That's a kick I've been throwing since state taekwondo when I was eight years old. You know, uh, my pops actually won my first state championship in Georgia with the step spinning hook kick uh, right to the head um, to throw it. In that, in this, in this magnitude, to fill my pops with me in that moment because he, he recently had a stroke um, a while back, and that was my corner man. You know what I mean? That was my dude because it was always that you want to do well for my pops. You know what I mean? Not to say that, that that type A mentality with my dad. You know, it's like okay, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. What do you? But yes sir. You know, I'll go do it. So to not have him in the corner, but to be able to replace him with a with a Scott Bear. Not even, I won't say replace like that, but the voice of a Scott Barrett to, to help, you know what I mean? Uh, guys like Sha, Sha also, my other corner, the way they came in and stepped in and not took his place, but were able to show me the same things he would show me, but with their own knowledge also, you know what I mean? So me, I try to be the biggest sponge that I possibly can, one thing that he also taught me. And to finish that fight in the same manner I did probably, what, 15 years ago, it, ah, man, like that's I did the I did my fat man front flip, and then the emotion said, "Hey, wait a minute, <laughs> that's that kick that you throw all the time." And I was like, "Oh my God, it is!" And then it just hit, man. I try my best not to cry. I wouldn't want to be a Michael Jordan meme in the MSG. No, -uh, can't do that. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I controlled that part. But um, it was amazing, man, to get to get that kick off. Last thing for me, I got to imagine your next fight, there's going to be a lot of attention on it. You know, a finish like that, you know, the dance, the, yeah. the fat man front flip. I mean, people are going to be – so, so where do you go from here? I mean, are there names that you want to fight or you want to fight again quickly, need some time off? What's the plan? We uh, – I heard there's a fight next week. Uh, was it the 13th? Hey, man, any of them heavyweights get hurt? 
holla at your boy. I'm right here. You know what I mean? I, I came out unscathed. Um, I'm ready to go. Uh, we we uh, there was a, this Alan Crowder. There was that was one name that uh, we had looked at at first. You know what I mean? Not a, I don't want to. I want to, you know, oh, I knocked this guy out. Give me the top ten. Now, hey, hey, we got to crawl before we can walk now. So, you know, um, let me let me build myself up, you know. Um, even working back, maybe even to a Ben Rothwell rematch so I can get, I can prove to what I know I can do, you know, type thing. Um, shoot, I actually fought Walt a long time ago. Unfair advantage. I was overweight. That's a, the, <laughs> That was supersized me um, fighting Walt. So to give him a fair shot, you know what I mean, <clears throat> back here, you know, uh, that'd be cool. Those... Those names never in a disrespectful manner, but just because I know these guys are fighters. You know what I mean? I know I get in there, they're going to bring the best out of me. That's what I want. Chris, you're right over here. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, before this fight, you said that your favorite fight was one of the shim wins of yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So did this take over that spot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big time, man. This, this is UFC. Like, I, uh, I know I did the... 360 kick, you know, and it somewhat landed. That's why I went to the body in here. If I would have did the step and then gone, it would have been right there. But uh, but you know, he stepped out. But uh, but yeah, yeah, this over this. <laughs> uh, so obviously, you're a guy who likes to have a lot of fun. Any yes, special sir. plans to celebrate, man? I like, man. Look, if y'all can find me some cardboard and meet me at uh, which 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 rate which subway station was it? Uh, I think it's like seven or one of one of those. I'm going down there. We break dancing, baby. I'm putting the hat out. I might make some extra change on the side. We going down there. We in New York. We got a break dance. If anybody can find me some spray paint, I might graffiti something out here, too, while I'm at it. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thank you. Chris, oh, hey, Chris, here. right here. Yes, sir. Did you almost take out a security guard dancing? Uh, I hope not. Did, was he close? Wait, where? It looked real close, that. Oh. He, his back was to you. Oh, I, no, I didn't. See, that's not my fault, man. Hey, look. We got to get a, a warning sign. Oh, he's about to start dancing. Beep. Beep. Big trucks have it when they back up, right? Boom. There we go. <laughs> And then, I don't know if you've seen the replay of the broadcast at all, but they had Dean Thomas kind of breaking you down the like right before the knockout. And oh, really? he, and he was saying uh, what he what he was seeing if he was your coach that you were kind of hurting a Volante, but uh -huh. then you wouldn't like follow up. You would yeah. stay back. Was that a conscious conscious decision, like hurting him, stay back, so you could get that yeah, that um, highlight thing like that? So, <clears throat> not to <clears throat> oh, sorry take anything away from game, but. Uh, he's moved up in weight, so I'm an, I'm naturally I've been technically I've been walking I walked around 350 before, so I know it's no fun getting big. <laughs> so I know with with a, he's got a lot he had a lot of stuff going on new baby new this new that, um, and then him getting big also the he's gonna get tired. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Me being a big guy, I know I'm going to get tired, so I know I work on that more. He's a new big guy. You, you got to find those new big lungs, man. This is, you got to go out there. and I think uh, what Walmart might have them in the back on clearance sometimes, but they're tough to find, you know, being the bigger guy, getting the lungs that you need. So, uh, yeah, we, we looked into that of tag, let him chase a little bit, let him, let him gas himself out kind of because it, it was going to happen, you know. Um, this is – you can train all you want. When you get in that cage, man, that – your cardio, say you're at 100, before you even throw your first punch, sometimes that stuff goes down to 70. And you're like, wait, wait, I did all this. I know I swam, I ran, I biked, da, 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 da. And you're like, that's like wait, wait. I, I, okay, there's my breath, you know what I mean? And that, that happened to me that second round. And I noticed he didn't get that deep breath. He was still doing the... So, yeah, it was not to take him in the deep water, but get him to where he's uncomfortable, you know? And then finally, uh, you would have to assume with a knockout like that, you'd have to be on the short list for some sort of post-fight bonus. Have you thought about what you would do? Man, don't, get, don't get me excited over here now. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love it. You know who? No, I don't want no knockout bonus. You're crazy, man. <laughs> now, um, uh, yeah, of course, my thing is, though, I wanted, like, I wish he didn't get up after the kick. Not like that, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was like, like ref, hey, he's down. Like, call it, man. Just stop. <laughs> you know, but, um, but yeah, no, I mean, hey, Uncle Daniel, holla at me, boy. You know what I mean? Christmas around the corner, too, you know? So, now that'd be perfect, man, to get that. All right. <laughs> hey, Chris, right here. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, oh, you got the pizza. You know what? I don't even want to. No, go ahead. <laughs> you want to bite, man? All you had to I'll do wait. No, go ahead. No, you wouldn't hear me smacking, so go ahead. Uh, Chris, you know, obviously fans, they come for the violence. They come for the excitement. But it was a, in your biggest moment, it was a very feel-good energy to see you out there. Obviously, give, you know, Volante his moment. Can you just talk about the energy in there? Because you could hear it throughout in the mezzanine on the concourse just that energy greeting him. Can you just talk about it for you to be able to give that to him? Yeah, I kind of came in here um, 
let me say, uh, what do they say? You, you should never assume, because I definitely assumed him being from New York, I was gonna get the, the booze, and throughout my whole career, I think I've only been booed like once, and I saw the person in the crowd. I was like, word, that's how you feel? All right, me and you after this, you know? So I was expecting it. But uh, I, I was like, okay, let me get a good, let me get a good New York song, good classic, come out, dance a little bit, maybe I'll win them over. When I started dancing and they, ah, I was like, oh, did I just, did I just win the crowd over too? So getting that vibe and that feeling from them, I was like, okay, cool. They're, under, they're gonna understand that this is a, a feel good fight. You know what I mean? Instead of a bad guy versus good guy type thing. So to get the knockout um, in that way, to have him, this is his, this is his, you know what I mean? This is his place. You know what I mean? This is his town. Um, I had to. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not in my nature to not give somebody the props that they deserve. He's been in this game. He's a vet. I've watched him fight to look up stuff. You know what I mean? So it's all respect there, you know? And my biggest way of showing that, you know, I respect you is taking my moment and giving it to him, you know? So him being a new dad and all that stuff, this is his last run, you know? He's done after this. I had to give it to him, you know? And then finally, uh, you're a guy, just a, a lot of fighters, you know, it's a lot of stress. You know, you're getting mm -hmm. in there to fight in a cage and just your shorts. And you just had a high energy all week. I mean, you even had high energy <laughs> at the official weigh-ins yeah. when it's just us and not the fans. Can you just talk about, I mean, how, may, how much nerves do you even get during a fight week? I, I got a good poker face, I'll say. I got a really good poker face. But um, I've always lived by live, love, laugh, man. Like, life is too short not to be happy. You know, if there's... No matter where you are, you can find something. If you can't find something to make you happy, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe just look at me. You know, if you, if any if all else fails, then, you know what I mean. I'll smile for you. But um, yeah, man, life's too short to be angry, like and grumpy all the time. I get you know you you need to have that you know to be able to turn it on and off. But my whole life, dude, I've always just tried to be positive. Like like look, I get things are gonna happen, but there's always light at that end of the tunnel. You know. You know, a lot of people are going to watch that clip of your celebration beat. How does that big man get airborne? <laughs> How often does that happen? That's, that's my fat man front flip, man. Uh, what was it? I blame the, uh, those trampoline places for that. They give me my confidence. <laughs> when I go in there, I can, huh, huh. I feel like, uh, what was it? That first Hulk movie when he was just boom. <laughs> bouncing from uh, place to place. But um, <clears throat> that's my fat man front flip. You know, every. Everybody says they don't like to see big people do stuff. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> that fat man front flip just probably inspired a whole bunch of people out there to do the fat man front flip, you know? So, uh, and next thing you know, you never know. It could be my next wrestling move. I'd be like, oh, the fat man front flip. Oh, you know? So, uh, it, it's, I'm going to keep it. I said I did want to land it on my feet. Wow. At this point, it's softer cushion right here, baby. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Beast Boy, just one question for you, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, where do you learn the hip dexterity to be able to kick that way at your weight? Because that's excellent movement. That's uh, Taekwondo from four years old up, and then um, a little bit of capoeira uh, here and there, and then a lot of breakdancing and a lot of video games, to be honest with you. Um, if I saw it in a video game, I was like, if they did it with the Lamo cap suit, somebody actually had to do it. So let me go ahead and try it also, you know? So, um, yeah, and then also mentally believing I'm only 170 pounds. You can say whatever you want. Scale can say whatever it wants. I'm 170, okay? So you can't tell me <laughs> nothing past that. But, uh, yeah, the hip dexterity and all that stuff, taekwondo, capoeira, and just honestly believing that, you know, hey, if he can do it, I can do it also. Something tells me next time you do the front flip in the octagon, you'll stick the landing to it. I, I don't know if I want to. I mean, if I... For you, I will, all right? For you, I will, but if everybody else says fat man front flip, then I got to land on my butt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris, quick question for you here. Good night. Where is it? Where? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, first question's first. Who had better hang time, you or Patrick Ewing? You know what? <laughs> I'll give it to Pat Ewing. I ain't going to say that in his building. This is his place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, decide though, man. Win number one in the UFC here in Madison Square Garden, where every superstar athlete has established their name. You've been well traveled. You've faced a who's who. You've been around the globe. What does this mean to your career? And what does this mean to you personally to pick up a win here at the, the house that never sleeps? What's crazy is this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I can promise you that right there. I was actually able to put in a great camp. I made it to that level to where I needed to train, fight, and be an actual fighter. And that's what I'm becoming. And what, what Scott and Shah have put in, you know, for this, for this whole camp and whatnot, this is just the beginning, man. Like, it feels so good to be almost reborn. To, bring, to be reborn, but to be able to bring all your positives back with you, that's what I feel like right now. 
Now that being said, uh, you and you and John, great post-fight uh, moment. That was definitely one of the feel-good moments of tonight, if not of this year. Um, there was some stuff said between the two of you before that all went down. Are you mm -hmm. care to share? Oh, in, in the in the cage, right before you started talking on the mic, yes, sir. Oh, uh, no, it was just me respecting him. Um, I don't know if you like during the fight. Just to show you how great of a guy he is, he saw me look at my glove, and the string was dangling, and he was like, hey, you want to get that cut? And I was like, no, 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 let's go. Then, he, then I looked down, and I was like, yeah, I might want to get a cut. And he goes, go ahead. And I said, no, 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 let's just go ahead. You know what I mean? So um, <clears throat> it, literally just all respect. There's, there, there wasn't um, an ounce of anything. Me more or less congratulating him on his, uh, you know, his new baby. Um, I think he, I don't know if he got the gig. I know he was sub-teaching. I don't know if he's actually, like, got the teaching job or whatnot. Uh, no, no, no. Take that back. He's going back to school to get the teaching job. Yeah, so he's still sub-teaching, but his, his football team's amazing. So, you know what I mean? I was just congratulating on the little things, you know, because I, I do my research on my fighters, you know, and um, I dug deep, like, him, beautiful family. They just got a new house, like, all that stuff, you know. So it was just me more or less showing my, my gratitude and everything of, uh, of what I, you know, of what he's done for me because... That Stipe connection is weird because, you know, Stipe, great guy. It, it just kind of coexists. Like, great people flock to great people, you know what I mean? It just happened to be two of his great people had to fight each other, which made it great, you know what I mean? So, no bad blood, no nothing, you know. I'll, I'll probably never have a mean, evil fight, you know. Even if somebody, oh, hey, Chris, da, 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 I'll find a way to make them smile, I promise you, you know. But, um, yeah, no, nah, it was just more, more or less just respect, you know what I mean? If he, if he was right up there now, I'd tell him come in here, you know, and, and speak, you know, speak to y'all because, again, this is his last run, you know. So um, I'm glad I got the victory and all, but I definitely had to let, let my man, you know, get his words off also. Thank you, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right.